again, good friends. Today we're going to talk about what happened to the Jewish religion and community during these 400 silent years. Now we've talked about Greece and how they brought a common language and a common culture all over the then known world. We talked about the Romans and how they made it possible to travel. And they also had the, had the peace. You weren't as, it wasn't as dangerous as it had been before. They weren't likely to break out these little wars, because if you broke out in a little war, the Romans were going to get you. But what happened to the Jews now? The, the uh, Jews had gone into captivity under the Assyrians, and they had gone into captivity under the Babylonians. The Babylonians had a way of taking their captives, and they would take a group of people, and they would move them to another place. And then they would take a group of people from that place and put where the first group came from. So you had a lot of Jewish communities that were taken out of Jerusalem, out of Judea, out of Israel, and taken over and put into a foreign country where they uh, could not go to the temple. Now, the Jewish religion in the Old Testament was mainly centered around the home. There was a lot of things that you did uh, that you did at home. And three times a year, the Jewish men were required to go to the temple for the uh, Passover, for the uh, Day of Atonement, and for one more, I forgot which one it was, I think Feast of Trumpets. Anyway, uh, they had to go three times a year. But other than that, the, the religion was mainly home-centered. Now, the people got away from home, they no longer had the temple. What are they going to do? So they developed a custom that every time you had ten Jewish men in a place, you formed what was called a synagogue. Okay, so you had this, the rise of the synagogue system. And at the synagogue, they didn't do blood sacrifices like they had at the temple. Instead, they, they uh, majored on and studied the scriptures, the law and the prophets, the Torah. This is what they did. And so they, week after week after week on Saturdays, the Jews would meet together and they would have a service kind of like we have. They would sing a hymn, sing a song, and then they would have a reading from the scripture. And then the, the uh, person who was reading the scripture would expound on that. And if you, had, if you happened to come in and you were a, a teacher or you were a man, they might ask you to read. Remember, Jesus did that in his first uh, synagogue appearance in his hometown. He came in and read the scripture, and then he said, this scripture is fulfilled in your ears, which was not a problem with the people until he said, well, you know, this is not just for you, it's also for the Gentiles. That, that really got them upset, because they, they had the law, they had the prophets, they had the synagogue system. So here they are now, all over the empire, in the book of Esther, the, king, the Persian king talks about 120 provinces. So they were in 120 provinces. And in those provinces, in every little town, there was probably some kind of a synagogue. So when Paul started preaching, where did he go? When he left uh, Jerusalem, he went uh, on his missionary journeys, he went to synagogues and there expounded the scripture first. And then he would go on if they kicked him out, which they frequently did, he would go somewhere else. So now we have another verse in our song. <clears throat> Who do we talk to first and best? Who knows enough to hear? God's ancient people have a book they study and revere. So it's Torah here and Torah there. Asia a book, Greece a book, everywhere a book, book, book. Yes, the Jews, they have a book and they know enough to hear. Where can we go to find the people gathered in one place to pray? Down at the synagogue, the people gather to study and pray. In the synagogue here, in the synagogue there. Kick us out and we go to market and find a place to park it. So what happened in those silent years? God was in charge after all. You got the language, the book, the folk ready for Mary to call. Now we have Jesus here, Holy Ghost there, Peter and Stephen, Paul and you. God was in charge after all.
and you can go with him.